Welcome to another episode of the Discuss segment of our program. We have with us in the house today a gaming enthusiast, a game dealer, and a student entrepreneur. In our midst today, his name is Joseph Adekonla, also known as Big Joe. This video is sponsored by Kaftan TV. To watch the full video on their page, click the link in the description down below. Hello, Big June. Nice to have you on the show. Uh, thank you, Mr. Promise. Yeah, so, uh, without further ado, let's get straight to the point. Yeah. Um, so, from what I've gathered, it says, um, yeah, student, what's your department? Um, I'm in nursing science, uh, University of Washington State. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, in what year right now? Um, second year of my university studies. Okay, so yeah, I saw for more. Wow, that yeah. is very, that's nice. So, um, nursing, so how do you manage to juggle your school life and making a living out of gaming? Oh, well, for a start, uh, gaming has always been my thing and I love gaming. It's like it means of escape from uh, the kind of... Uh, the challenges. This, yeah, and yeah. Anatomy can be so boring at times, studios, classes, practicals, uh, a But I just, it's just something that goes well with me. Some might drink, some might womanize, but I choose gaming. Like, Giving is me. Giving is life. Yeah, of course. Yeah, giving is everything to me. Like, if I'm not outside and there's light, if, if I'm not outside and there's light, I always find me gaming. I'm always gaming. Yeah. 24 hours, seven days a week. Of course, I can see that. I can see that with the enthusiasm in your voice. <laughs> of course, I can, I can see that. So, from your experience, what are the things that someone can do if someone wants to make money out of gaming? I, I mean, you've you've made. I mean, you have, I can see that you've been making moves. You know, um, selling stuff. You have contacts outside. That, I mean, you sell stuff. And I've heard over the times that you sell. You do deal with like PC games. Sure. You sell. You sell games to them. So, like, what are the? For a start, I started with um, posting my ad on GG. Um, gaming for me is, it comes natural, like I said. So uh, I've partnered with some people that sell laptops a lot, like so. That is, it's very easy. So when I you know when somebody wants to come and get a gaming laptop, you know, okay, so would you like a game? Yeah, I have a guy for you. That's what one of my uh, uh, my biggest referrals does, Mr. Wally in FM, Mr. Wally Music. So that way it does. So the thing is, game um, gaming is. A, I was talking about discussing with somebody about a a vacuum. There's a lot of space in the game now. People are not ready to just like take advantage Tap of it. it. Like I was discussing with somebody earlier to, earlier this week about um, the issue of graphic cards. Yeah. People want graphic cards in Africa. It's not like we don't. We, it's very easy, but there's a vacuum. Yeah, I was checking around to, all through Europe, and they have distributors, and only in Africa, just only one. In South Africa. In South Africa, just for AMD, and I was like, ah. and just one person supplying. The entire 54 states of um, Africa in the long run. That's a very 54. That, you, you said states. Yeah. You, well, you, you, I, I think what you mean to say is countries. States, states, countries. Yeah. Uh, because because <laughs> countries, countries are like in a larger scale. If you ask uh, me, well, because well, to me, I, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, states, states is actually a big thing. But when you're talking about country, that was like a larger scale. Like, well, if you want to put monopoly, yeah, it's like a state. Yeah, exactly. So all the funds are coming to them. And I think the monopoly is, is massive. The guy will just be chopping his money on the low like nobody. I mean, I mean, did I mean, mm -hmm. now is the stop it and I mean, did So you see, there's a power vacuum, just like um, Xbox controllers now. It's only when you get uh, get the feel, like you can get Chinese ones, like just to make deal with what you have. But assuming you have a license from Microsoft themselves and you have access to the real controllers and you sell the original version. People who pay as much, the Xbox Edit controller costs close to 72,000 naira. I had somebody ask me for it that, can I get it? I said no, because it's, it's done. There's no it's supplier. Okay. There's no supplier. I thought, I thought you wanted to say it was damn expensive, but. Yeah, no, um, damn expensive. She didn't want. Some people can pay, some people can buy. I've seen someone that got a 3D, uh, a curved um, OLED monitor for 150,000 naira. That was fairly used just because he wants to game. I probably could in the long run, but mostly game. Wow. This is where they can buy that for fairly use. How much is a controller of 72k? So wow. there's yes, yeah, so there's there's a lot to be done in the gaming sector. Like I was really talking talk to somebody about Apple phones and all, like just just to digress a yeah. little. Like you can only buy phones in UK used. People that you can't buy the people want an Apple store in Africa. Like here in Nigeria, we want an Apple store. 
A lot of people use iPhones, but yet there's no there's no physical presence of Apple here. Okay, um, I think I'm going to be digressing with you a little bit, <laughs> but um, because we're going to still be putting that in the game center because even Apple has um, yes, the mobile now, this, platform this for gaming. CODM. Yeah, CODM and Apex that just even launched yeah, recently. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, so yeah. happy for that. Yeah. But um, co coming back into Apple, we're even digressing into the monopoly aspects of um, gadgets and all. Mm -hmm. But Apple, I, I want people not be paying more for that. I thought that everybody wants, and now in Nigeria, people want um, something that they get what they want. But even if it's at, um, even if it's not at the best quality, so far as what they want, they get it. Like that's why we have so many UK use. Are you sure that maybe it's not because of um, customer demand, because of how um, high those prices would be? Well, I believe um, if you want quality and quantity, you know where to get them. Okay. But I'm a person of quality. I believe I want, I want the best. I always go for the best. And I feel that that's what some people are doing also. A lot of people feel like doing also. If there's a, if there's a physical presence of Apple here in Africa or in Nigeria in the long run, because Nigeria do, is mostly, if you talk about Africa, most people talk about Nigeria. Okay. So definitely I feel like, yes, we will definitely buy the original ones. And, are you sure? Are you... And, people, and people will not mind the price. Trust me. People won't mind the price. So we can go as far. If, if some people can go as far as taking easy buy to buy Androids, yeah. why can't you do the same for iPhones? Yeah, because, I mean, well, I, I feel you have a point, but um, I, for gaming, for gaming in the long run, I feel like, yeah, they, if, if a gamer were to get that opportunity, I feel like he will make the best use of it. So far, he has the funds. Yes. So, uh, um, but uh, are there any job opportunities in gaming? If yes, can you give us some examples? Well, you see, uh, in my times um, with experience with customers, I I once um, I pitched this to somebody about starting a game, uh, building a game, uh, building a game like God of War kind of scenery and uh, like adventure, tell story, Nigerian stories. Maybe you can just incorporate a game like God of War, like the future, mm -hmm. something like um, I stay in Oshu, I stay in Oshu now, yeah. Oshubu night, um, about um, Oshu Oshubu, uh, the Queen, the mm -hmm. Muja, yeah. maybe you see Obu in the game, like, because that's what they do in God of War series. Yeah, they just, ex they recently explored the Norse mythology. That show in Thor, yeah. the Sons, Baldur. Freya, Odin, Baldur, and before it was the Greek mythology. Yeah, so, um, and that was um, oh, um, Zeus, his brother um, Poseidon. Hades, Poseidon. Uh, uh, yeah. We have um, Athena. Athena, yeah. So, uh, left to me, I think, after this um, Ragnarok, this oncoming Ragnarok, yeah. I'm thinking they'll be exploring Egyptian mythologies. So that's what I'm just saying, though. But, it's that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. So, like you said, there are job opportunities. There are a lot of job opportunities. 3D animators can come in. I once worked with Spoof Animations. Okay. Um, they design 3D, very good um, company. Designed animations and 3D animators is going to come in. A lot of coders will come in. So yeah. it's going to be a very big opportunity. There are a lot of opportunities. It's just that we should just pull funds together. Funding is key. Like yeah. funding, funding, funding is top priority. If, if you want to make anything happen, well, you guys but, get money. But I, I just believe that people can actually freelance. Like people with people with the mindset. You can yeah. get people with the mindset. Yeah. And it's not always about the money in the long run. Yeah. Because um, money uh, money only follows value. If you are just chasing money without any value, money will yeah, come. It's going to depreciate over time. Yes. Yes. So definitely, I believe um, we just need to just um, find people who are goal oriented about making the game. And by the time we start selling the game. Um, uh, FIFA goes for fifty nine ninety nine. Yeah. So by the time you are selling for thirty dollars and people that are freelancing and just like to make a game together, they di they love what they are doing and they are earning monetary competitions on it. It's fine by me. It's fine by me. It's fine by me. So well, I, there are a lot of there are a lot of opportunities. Some people just think that the game, like I was talking about the uh, the AMD graphics yeah, card, yeah, and yeah, all, the graphics card. Um, animation yeah even probably nigeria could focus more of their labor force into people who are tech savvy you know yeah, just tech savvy is, yeah and i actually think that judging by nigeria's population at least we are the, the reason we are called giants of africa is because of our population yeah so i'm thinking what if there was a was a factory here in nigeria where they can produce graphic cards although raw materials can be very scarce like the raw materials for the semiconductors yeah uh, the all those kind of board yeah kind the of, little the, yeah. the little thing you know you know there's a saying the devil is in the details so yeah yeah, yeah. but I, I believe uh iphone is not made in in the us 
but it's, it's only patented and assembled designed. in California. Only, uh, assembled in California. All their materials come from China. So why can't you do the same in Africa or yeah. in Nigeria? Yeah, because yeah. In Nigeria, we we have the workforce. Yeah. We have the workforce. People are jobless out there. Yeah. This is, that's what pains me about about Nigeria in the long run. Like people are not seeing the broader picture of how to maximize our population. That's in their strength in numbers. Why cannot maximize the number? Well, yeah. it's just the uh, sorry state to find ourselves in, and we just have to make do with what we have. So here's my next question: Do you believe? it's possible gaming can be considered in a more professional light in Nigeria in the years to come. Why not? I believe yes. But just that, it may take a while. Uh, that's why myself, I'm studying nursing in Longo, and also science in yeah, Longo. You, like, uh, plan B. Uh, yeah, there's always a backup plan for backup plan for a backup plan, just like Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so the thing is, uh, yes, I would like to pursue gaming as a, uh, as a primary source of income, but it will take a while. At least our community in Nigeria has it's not growing. Yes, yeah, it's growing, it's growing. But it's um, not where we want it to be yeah, yet. Yeah, we'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there. We get there. Like we have we have we are ever increasing and um, yeah, we'll get there. Nigeria is Nigeria Nigeria has a lot of potential. Nigeria has a lot of potential. And mm. I believe gaming can be um, um, a primary, a like a, a, a tap. I mean, a, a, um, a potential where we can be able to tap into. Yes, yes, yes. Just like Ninja. Ninja was one of was one time uh, Fortnite player of the of the year. And do you know what he did? He, with that, without um, without fame, yeah. he was able to start an academy in his house oh. where he trains people to play Fortnite, play Fortnite, and get some cash out of it. Yes. You know, go for official tournaments. That they train, they eat, sleep, and and um, dress in this mansion yeah. and funny enough he produced another champion too from his academy in his house wow that's so sensational so we, why can't you end from gaming just that one one one, one hindrance i think it's a problem in, in uh, nigeria is because of um, our network issue like in latency when it comes to yeah. gaming or codm call of duty war call of duty was on itself yeah yeah that's one of the latency speed where you, but I think with the incoming Google um, data cable that is coming, that is going to pass through Nigeria and some other West African countries, I think that is going to be cheaper soon. So that's a that's a good advantage, and for gamers in the long run. So yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Ah. Number six. Uh, this is the final question. Uh, what are the challenges you faced being a businessman in gaming? Uh, well, I'll say it's just people. And if you are running a business, definitely people can frustrate you. Tell your prices are too high. Too high. Some well, I've rather met some people that said my prices are too low, but it all depends on people in the long run. People in the long so run. So what do you do to people that say your prices are too high? I just say that my service are quality, they are top notch, the best of its kind. Like you can't get like you can't get somebody like me anywhere. Like I'm very meticulous. I can I can I can I can spot an error five five minutes away like five miles away I can spot, I can spot an error five miles away like that's so why so basically you're yeah, a running program <laughs> like, I'm, 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 like I used to talk about my robot I'm meticulous um of recent I have this file I don't know if if you um I give people my files there's okay. this file there's this file I tag fixed by Big Joe okay that file fixes any game error. When it comes to PC gaming, wow. oh. it fixes anything and everything. DLL errors, C library error, um, mm. or knock the DLL error and eyes on DLL error when installing fit gear repacks, and mm. maybe DOD repacks too. You know, as you guys think, installing crack yeah, games. games. So, and if it's about installing um, GeForce, the, uh, GeForce drivers, drivers, you can just download the NVIDIA GeForce Experience the, the, the driver. GeForce Experience, then you get the latest drivers. Yes, and, and even uh, I. Uh, AMD drivers, are, uh, AMD support site is actually more user friendly because they tell you which one do you want. It's there already. You just go there and pick it. So I always go for the best, top-notch experience. And my experience is key because I didn't learn this all at the go. But yeah. with time, yeah. Speaking of how you didn't learn it all at the go, how were you able to learn? Like, um, what resources did you use to be able to, you know, gather all these um, skills to make money out of it as a student entrepreneur as you are? Uh, well. It all started like wanting to play a game and the game just stopped working. Like, why won't it work? 
I've installed the game. Why would it work? So that's one problem to improve my skills and go to YouTube. Of course, YouTube is YouTube is, YouTube is as, number as your team one. Finger tip. But also, it, it takes um, some kind of uh, some dedication, some kind of dedication, like. Because it can I'm, get tiring. Yes, it can get room. tiring, boring. I, I it just take the decision that I want to do this. I want to make it work. I want to. I. I, I really like. It's what you love. Like you eventually spend money on. Yeah. That's why sometimes I can go as far as. I, my my recent laptop I I got of recent it was a GTX 960M Core i7 6th gen, um 16 gig RAM. The RAM support of decent DDR3. Very painful. Very painful. May you so rest in peace, Jeremy. <laughs> Well, well, the thing is, it doesn't have a screen. Yeah. So, you know what I did? It doesn't have a screen. So, I just disconnected the screen part, yeah. removed it from the board, yeah. plugged the HDMI cable, yeah. and plugged it to my flat screen. And then you have like a hybrid of, yeah. you, have a, you have a gadget, you have a gadget, of, you have a hybrid of a gadget. Yes. So, the thing is, I could have actually gotten the screen, though, but the screen was very expensive. 120,000 era because it is 4K display yeah. with touch screen. Yeah. So why not buy a TV and use the HDMI cable? Yeah, get better sound. I mean, better and it saves you. Yeah, saves me a lot of cash. Simple tactics. <laughs> All right. Um, I feel like we have we have so much to discuss, but um, time is not on our side. Ah, and I'm very very sure our viewers out there were able to like learn a thing or two, you know, um, economy wise, how to you know be an entrepreneur in the long run in Nigeria, even when Nigeria is still learning to accommodate gaming so right now we'll be heading over to our trivia and we'll see you right there